Hey, what's up guys, it's Nathan. Um, I haven't uploaded in a little while, so I'm just gonna make a video. I don't know if it's gonna be edited or not, but uh, I've been saying that I wanted a, I think the last video, or the video before, I said I wanted a Honda CRF 125. Well, I changed my mind about that. Um, after a few days later, I'm like, you know, I think I might get a 150, but then those things are like $5,000, and wow, I just spun my tires so much, it's super wet out, but uh, those are, this 150 is like, dang $5,000, so I'm like, nah. I don't want to save up that much, but I also don't want a 125. It's a little small. So I looked at the 230. It was like $4,000. I'm like, all right, I'll just save up for this. But then I started watching a whole bunch of dark dirt bike videos. And then, oh, I saw how good the KTMs were. I'm like, wow. Oh Jesus, these trails are never this wet, so I have to constantly just wipe off my camera. Oh. You know, at this point I don't even care if I get wet. So uh, I think I'm going to save up for a uh, KTM SX, either a 100 or 125. I'm not getting a brand new one because those are 8,800 bucks. I'm gonna try to get a used one. I already found one for $2,000 on a Facebook market. It's like three and a half hours away, but neutral. I think I might be able to get it. It has like a brand new bottom and top end. It was rebuilt six months ago, he said. So I'm going to try to get that. I know a 125 two-stroke, uh, pre they're pretty fast, especially the KTMs. I think that's the top speed of 75 miles an hour. I don't know if I can make it street legal. Oh, that was such a dumb idea. Oh my god. But it's fine. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna crack my cylinder or something. There's a huge puddle where I just started the video. The lens is probably like all blurry because my glove is all wet. I'm sorry about that, but I don't have anything dry on me. So. Let's go through this huge puddle over here. Oh, yo, yo, it went over my gas tank. <laughs> That's just, oh my god. I hope I don't, f oh yeah, my phone's in my pocket. And whenever it's water resistant, it'll be fine. I hope I don't flood it, my quad. All right, I'm gonna go in second gear through this puddle over here. Wait, hydroplane it. Oh my God. I don't even know what happened. I just saw a whole wall of like water in front of me and then my hand slipped off the handlebars, so I almost went forward. I did pull up on the handlebars like before I hit the water because I knew something like that was going to happen. I still kind of did. I'm soaked right now. Oh jeez, the 
my engine like turn off right there earlier like maybe a half hour ago I was just sitting here and uh I revved my engine up to like red line and it just cut off. And I tried starting it and it wouldn't start. I didn't hit the throttle, but once I tried starting it and hit the throttle, it finally started. I was a little nervous right there. And everyone watching this probably thinks I'm an idiot for just going full speed in puddles. But I just got back from camping. It's been like 80 degrees out and I just want to cool off. But it's like 60 degrees right now, so. Jesus. Oh my God. arm is just covered. Wait, all of my quads washed off. That used to be all mud up front. <sighs> Man. This is bad. Oh my god. I want to get a louder exhaust for this thing, but did I hit that? But, um, it's a lot of old people that live around here, and they like to yell at people, so you can't get one. But once I get a two-stroke bike, I don't know how that's gonna end up. I mean, as long as I go, because if I go on my development, if I just go to the uh, speed limit, they can't really do anything if I have a lot of exhaust. I think my, it almost sounded like my exhaust was underwater. But that puddle isn't that deep. It's only like six inches, maybe eight inches deep. Maybe a foot, I don't know. Around there. Jeez, I want, is my, because I don't have a waterproof case on my GoPro. I have a Hero 3 Plus. I mean, it has a case, but like, it has the uh, holes in it for the uh, microphone. So I don't know. It says, it's like the waterproof case. It just has the holes right there for the uh, microphone. I mean, I could see the uh, red light because the GoPro's right above my eyes, so. Oh, jeez. Wow. I got, like, no traction because it's all wet. until winter time that's the best part because you can just drift wherever you go I remember with my old tires on here I got stuck in a pothole that was like two inches deep and it was all icy those were those were with my old tires Even if I do drown this quad, smaller engines are they're a lot easier to get water out of than like bigger engines. I watched a video, a guy flooded his 150 CRF. He just kept turning it over until it finally started. And then he just redlined it for like 30 seconds and then he was fine. 
but that's 150. I mean, it probably doesn't matter. I feel like I should just go on the uh, road for a little bit. Is this starting to rain? I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, whatever. I might just end the video here because I was just gonna make this video to like tell you. I'm just gonna get a KTM. I'm gonna say that and change my mind again, but I don't know, we'll see. These KTMs are really nice bikes. I don't know if I mentioned what year that bike was that I found. It was a 2004, oh, it was a Chimo. It was a 2004. Oh, I just bottomed out. Someone right there. That was almost full speed. It was really close to full speed. Oh, that right there used to be a huge puddle. Like an hour ago, or two. They already drained, sadly. And my friend's working on a truck, F-150. I'm gonna drive past his house and see if he's out. He might be like, what the heck happened to you? So I, I am soaking wet. I just hope my camera lens isn't blurry. Man, I might need new gloves. Just, one of them starting to uh, rip. And they're kind of starting to like, smell a little because of the, uh, oh, I was bleeding and then there's sweat and then gas and oil that was on here. And all of that mixed together doesn't smell does not smell good. I guess my friend's making a dirt bike track in this field sometime during the summer. So that'll be pretty fun once he gets it done. And I, I'm guessing I would have my dirt bike by then because I already have enough money to get like a, I don't know, an older 125, maybe a 230. I have enough to get a RM85. I found a couple of them for 800 bucks. But I, I don't, I'm not like a huge fan of Suzuki. If I get any bike, it'd either be a Honda or a KTM. <sighs> Here's the truck. He said he wants to rebuild that whole truck. <laughs> He's like 16 years old and then, I don't know. I don't know if we could do it. He took the cab and the bed off, just the engine on the chassis. Boy, he still has the differential and the axle and stuff, but. <sighs> I think I'm gonna do a wheelie up here. I hope you guys can see. I probably just made it worse. 
right there. water all over my goggles so I can't even see right. Oh. So yeah. Oh, it's not there right now, but usually there's like a Raptor 700 right there. Or a 660, I can't really tell because it's like 30 feet away. I think the 660s are air-cooled engines, right? I think it's water-cooled. But I don't know. I feel like I might have bent a tie rod because my steering feels a little off. Well, I did get extra tie rods for Christmas, but I don't know. I have to check. Cause... I don't know. Because I was going down that hill and my handlebars are almost straight. And there's that turn right there. The engine, the engine brake didn't even like work. It just kept going. Might be getting a little more gas than usual. <sighs> For some reason. Here, I gotta check my alignment. I'm gonna have my handlebars pretty much straight. Um, that does not look straight. 